Hello, hello, right, lessons everyone. Um, <laughs> I'm doing this live and there's like, the sun is coming through the window in a strange way. So if the lighting kind of shifts, I do apologize. I am sure you can still hear me okay. I hope you can continue to see me okay. But I just wanted to do this little live and share with you what's so exciting about this vibe portal. So not only is it Beltane today, so um, there are two dates for Beltane. There are two dates for every turn of the wheel. Um, so Beltane is all about that um, harmony of the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. It's that union, it's that fertility, it's that marriage, it's that um, incredible energy that births literally worlds, right? It births everything. Um, now, most people go by Beltane for the 1st of May. That's, re that's the Gregorian calendar. That's when the Romans kind of came in or whomever it was and decided we're going to create all these months and we're going to make... All these holidays align with the first of the month right so those dates do hold energy which are incredible they do hold energy but then you also have the actual um date judged by the sun right based off the sun so that is actually today so not only do we have the five five portal five is all about change it's all about unity this is a massive manifestation portal um, but we also have the energy of Beltane, which is that fiery energy, right? It's that union energy. It's that um, divine, blissful union that results in a lot of, well, well, traditionally results in pregnancy, right? So fertility, what are you creating in that womb space? What are you creating in that gorgeous um, temple that is within you, right? And that can look like anything. That can be a business venture. That can be a life change. That can be soul purpose. That can actually be a baby if you want um but i, I i'm just, i'm sharing this because it's we're in such a powerful space of time right now and you'll have, you'll have noticed the shift in energy between the past three or four days um and today today feels completely different right it does it feels completely different and um you know and there's other cosmic shifts that are happening in the sky right to align with this as well but i did want to just pull some cards to show you what um is incredible about this energy right now because you literally have the opportunity to birth whatever it is that you want right now right i'm gonna say that again in a different way if you want to create something with maximum prosperity maximum bliss like literally the highest timeline you can think of this is what you need to be visualizing today keep that vibration high and literally just write it out ask the questions and write it out you know ask yourself what is my bliss what is my joy what is my purpose right and just write it and just let your hand write free write you know you could even write the question with your dominant hand if you're right-handed write it with your right hand and then with your left hand write the response right and then you're receiving that from the divine um but i'm just going to show you what the angels and our guides had to say about today so the first card that i pulled was Babaji, right? The first card that I pulled was Babaji, right? It's about soul expansion. This is what this time, this date is all about. Um, your consciousness is expanding. You know, gifts are coming online. Telepathy is coming online stronger than ever before, you know? Um, for anyone that is practicing those um, gifts of remembrance, such as telepathy, telekinesis, things like that, people are getting it, you guys, right? They're getting it. For people that are wanting to um, figure out how to manifest quicker, you we're starting to get it much quicker. It's starting to turn around a lot quicker as time progresses, right? You know, it's understanding the connection between all things, literally all things. I speak about this in the Rebirth and the Goddess program. Um, the episode of the mother archetype went out uh, today, or is going out today. I don't think it's sent yet. And, um, and that is all about, like, part of that is understanding that we literally are all connected. I am you, you are me. We all come from the earth. Right? We come from the earth, we will go back into the earth at the end of it, um, at the end of this bodily incarnation, right? That's not the end of things though, I just want to say that. And what's really fascinating here is that the card that came out to validate it, to um, expand on it, was this full moon in Gemini, right? This full moon in Gemini energy, so it's kind of, this says to us, you know, the answers that you need are coming, so what have you been asking for? Right? Because it's all going to start to drop into place. It'll all start to drop into place as and when um you know as and when is it's meant to in divine perfection in divine time and i just trust and know that it's coming but first and i cannot stress this enough you know focus on asking your angels and guides to support you in this what is what is it that you want what is your bliss tune into your heart not your head right you know i ask them i ask the people this question and they go you know i want to you know do this this and this and maybe they change like one little thing in their day maybe 
they go from being employed to self-employed, but they're still working the same amount of the day. I'm like, no, think bigger than that. Think bigger than that. This is when we are thinking really big, literally blow out the walls, right? You know, we've got white eagle coming in next, right? Ancestor spirits. This is about clearing as well, um, past limitations, limiting beliefs, right? Anything that's kind of, you know, the void of course moon comes in here that nothing's going to come of that situation. Those limiting beliefs are, are literally getting kicked back right now. They're going, no, sorry, we don't resonate with you anymore. That's what this portal is all about, right? Anything that you may have had limiting you, it, it's kind of going, no, that doesn't exist anymore. It's like, it's like you've got this newfound courage and confidence to just literally step out of your comfort zone and it's going to serve you so, so well. This is about closing down and you'll have felt this as well you'll have felt the completion of cycles you'll have felt um things come to completion whether that is with a friend a family member whether it's with a pattern whether it's with something or other like that you'll have felt that energy kind of conclude and um especially if, you, if you've been working with yourself working with your shadows on a day-to-day -day basis you'll really be feeling that but even if not you like i said at the start of this video you'll have felt that energy shift you'll have felt it you know, the next thing that we've got here is we've got divine order. This is that surrendering, right? Um, Lady Portia, I think, is the um, counterpart for Saint Germain, who's all about karma releasing, right? This is this really is, you guys, about releasing the timelines, the releasing the self judgment, releasing the persecution we put on ourselves, right? Um, you know. And we get this new moon in Aquarius energy, which is all about bringing love into the situation, right? Look how you can nurture and nourish yourself first, you know, fill up your own cup before you do anything else. And the shift in focus has been there. It has been there recently and it's being emphasized right now because this is how we get there. We get there by anchoring in our light. We get there by anchoring in our own energy, right? Before we do anything else, do that on a day-to-day -day basis and watch your vibration, you know, allow, um, allow time to play out and that's a divine feminine quality you know patience and kind of allowing things to unfold the masculine energy will want to kind of go 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 and make it all happen but this isn't about that right now this is about the balance of the masculine and the feminine because it is beltane energy right beltane energy right and um yeah this is about having that grace you know this is about having that grace and just that patience and just allowing it you know um we take the action and then we receive and then we take aligned action and we receive and it's that balance you know and what's really wonderful here and i'm just going to show you oh where are we okay the next card coming in we have mercury right open communication you're going to want to start speaking more you want to gonna you're going to want to start using words that are higher frequency higher vibration you know um there is a massive shift happening here with how you verbalize things with what is going to be communicated in your outer world and how you're going to receive that and what's going to feel good and what's going to feel maybe not so good and what's going to resonate as truth and what is not truth you're going to see that and that's going to really get enhanced around this time you know watch the weekly angelic energy uh readings that um, that we do on youtube um because one went out for this week and that actually kind of pairs in a little bit with that so do watch those, um, they're there for you, right? That Those readings are there to help everyone um, see what the energies are gonna be like for the week ahead, really. But this, there is powerful change coming here with how we articulate this throat chakra, rewritten. Massive rewrite happening, and that literally comes up in the weekly angelic um, energy forecast, so do check that out. But there is a massive powerful change, look at this, new moon eclipse, and we will have um, eclipse season starts next month right? So if we look on a timeline, we can look at whatever it is that we're implementing right now, whatever it is that we are um, focusing on right now. And when I say focusing, you guys, we're not obsessing. This is really key because that comes from distortion. That comes from wounding. It's so important to, you know, tune into the rhythm and the flow and the sway and the dance of the energies that are around and let your masculine and feminine energies dance with each other, you know? They're making love with each other within your body. That's essentially what is happening, right? And it's beautiful and that's how it's meant to be. So you're meant to have the times where you're relaxing and chilling and receiving, right? Receiving from the divine, that light. And you're meant to have times where you are taking aligned action, right? And it is go, go, go time, but only when it all feels aligned and relaxing. I'm just going to put it out there. Relaxing does not mean sitting on the couch watching telly. That's not relaxing. That's messing up your vibration, 
okay? So that's really important because for this to get rewritten in a really higher communication way, you know, your, pa your words have power and now more than ever they do, you know? Now more than ever they do. So I found that really fascinating for that to come in. And finally, I had some beautiful energies, some of my very favorites. I had Horus and Isis. My lady. So Horus, Cosmic Gateway, that's what he's saying. He sees all, right? Like a beautiful hawk, eagle, you know, flying over. He sees a bigger picture, right? There is a bigger picture unfolding here for you guys, right? For all of us, you know? And it's all very specific to what it is that we are wanting to achieve. And you know, these two are, these two are counterparts, they're twin flames, right? And for those two to be the last that come out of, of, um, of the cards that I'm reading today for this 5-5 portal is pretty immense. You know, because once again, it brings in that divine union, divine masculine, divine feminine, cosmic gateway. You're going through a massive gateway. We all are. And we're going to be able to see clearer um, the bigger picture than ever before. It literally is going to be unlocked li like that. Right. And magic manifesting. Right. You know, we're going to then be able to manifest what our soul wants. And you know what? Sometimes we don't know what that is verbally. Right. If we if we don't spend time to actually let our ego move out of the way and we don't spend time to do the meditating to connect with our soul, with our higher self and our team of light, then we might try and manifest something from our ego, you know? For example, you might try and manifest a certain person back into your life when really that person isn't in your highest good, okay? That's the difference between manifesting with your soul, with your higher self and manifesting with your ego. One of them is gonna bring the repeating of patterns and it'll feel resistant, you'll know it, you'll know it because you'll be questioning it all the time. And the other thing will just flow. And that's what they're saying right now, you know? Your dreams, visions, goals, all becoming reality right now. And what I love is that the number of viewers that are watching this live right now, um, you know, I didn't tell anyone that I was going live, I just kind of went live when I had a moment. And it's fluctuated, but it stayed around five. So not only is this, you know, <laughs> on the fifth of the fifth of a, of a five year, but I've got five viewers that have literally stayed on here and it's fluctuated a little bit, but it's been five all the way through. So once again, it's that massive five energy. It's unity consciousness, it's collaboration, it's um, change. And change will feel uncomfortable. It, it does, it can do, but it's for our, when it's for our highest good, we are so supported. You can't even believe like when we just release the resistance, release what we're holding on to and just let the beautiful waves of energy just kind of take us where we're meant to go. Everything flows so beautifully. And look at the cards that actually came out to support um, Horus and Isis. So we had step out of your comfort zone to come out with Horus. So that cosmic gateway, step out of your comfort zone, right? Are you being guided to go and spend time somewhere, to reach out to someone online, to go live on a video? Are you inspired or, um, you know, receiving that download to do that you know are you receiving the download to run a course to run a class to start writing a book you know to start drawing to start painting what are you feeling inspired to do because it's time that you step out of your comfort zone because if you've always if you always do what you've always done you're always going to get what you always have right or however that phrase goes you know what i'm trying to say you got to do something different right you are a walking master of light in this human body you are and this is the gateway this is such a powerful gateway this is the gateway where you really can embody that. You know, it really is. The energies have not been like they have been. Every month, every week, every month, they're getting stronger and stronger and stronger right now. And we've not seen energy like this before, you guys. Not in our lifetimes, right? And the other card that came out is that the energy is gaining momentum. That came out with Isis, with her magic manifesting. She's an alchemist, right? Magic manifesting and that energy is gaining momentum. The Kundalini is waking up, right? that life force energy, that creation energy. If you're taking the Rebirth and the Goddess program, if you're doing those classes, you'll know how to be working with that, with that um, creation energy, because we talk about it in the in the third week um, when we look at sacred sexuality, right? And how to really harness that energy. Um, but it's gaining momentum right now for you. It's literally happening for you. But the thing is, is that if we don't take the aligned action, we don't keep our masculine and feminine in balance. If we don't take the aligned action, it's not just going to arrive to us on a plate, right? We have to actually do our part of the contract, of the divine contract, right? You know, the divine will line everything up for us, but we have to actually walk through those doors that are being lined up, right? So the last thing that they're saying here, and the beautiful soul on the bottom of the deck, we have Mary Magdalene, of course we have. 
because that feminine Christ is rising. The rose lineage is coming back. It's being awakened within every single person. It's no coincidence we have both Isis and Mary Magdalene out here. You know, the teacher awakens. Step into your power. This is about you stepping into your mastery timeline. That's what this portal is all about. Such abundance around this portal. I am not even joking you. Right? Tune in. Tune into it. Take some time. Like, create time. Carve time in your day to just sit and be and meditate and think and just, well, not even think, but kind of the opposite of thinking. Of just being still, just focusing on your breathing and noticing what comes through. Asking a question. What do I need to know today, guys? Angels, guides, beings of love and light. What do I need to do to create more abundance today? Ask the question. They will tell you they are there waiting. The final thing they're saying is don't let pride get in the way. We've got that full moon in Leo. This is also saying about Lionsgate. So not only do we have that um, new moon eclipse coming in, which I think is either June or July, but they're literally pacing out the timeline for us. Whatever we anchor in today in, in this space of time in this week, right? In this energy that's present right now, um, we plant the seeds, we're going to get our first harvest around that new moon eclipse, so that's going to be June, July, whenever that is, and then we're going to get our second one around Lionsgate, right? Lionsgate is the start of August, the 8-8 portal, that abundance, right? So they're bringing in this Leo as well because they're saying, you know, don't let your pride, and I'm also hearing this as ego, don't let your, um, don't let the ego who's used to comfort and not change get in the way here, don't let them take control, don't let that take control within you, you know, count backwards, five, four, three, two, one, do something different, I keep feeling inspired to do this, five, four, three, two, one, I'm going to do it right now, and just do it, like, this is where we change the habits of a lifestyle, because you are creating the life that is, you're creating, a, a, just, oh, whew, so incredible, literally, you guys, so incredible, the life that you actually really deserve, that you keep asking for we all keep asking for it right and we are so supported by so many beings of light around us our team of light you've all got an individual team of light you've got your guardian angel you've got your dream guide and you've got a mass amount of angels archangels and ascended masters right and fey beings elemental beings dragons unicorns you've got all of them around you going hey we're here ask for us to help you right and when you need our assistance we will be there that's what they say to you so call on them when you need the extra energy, call on them when you need the extra motivation, call on them when you need the extra encouragement. They will be there and they will get you through this and you will literally be looking back in one month, in two months, in a year's time going, holy moly, that was a year to remember. And for a whole different reason than last year was, yeah? This is the year that you really reclaim your sovereignty. And this is the portal where that starts. I love you all so much. I'm gonna try and go live later and do some card pulls for you all. Um, so we'll see how that pans out. I can't see anyone's comments on here, so I don't know if you're commenting or you're not, but Facebook has been a little bit cheeky with uh, with people that are doing card pulls and doing groups like this. So we will see if we can make that work. But in the meantime, I love you all so much. If um, anyone is looking for further assistance, further guidance, I have slots open next week for angelic one-to-one uh, -one appointments and I have one mentorship, Anchor Your Light, mentorship spot available just message me if that resonates with you message me if it intrigues you no obligation right just message let's have a chat about it it's a four week one-to-one -one program where you really actually anchor in whatever it is that your soul is meant to be doing in this lifetime we anchor that in we get the foundations built and we get you going on your way right it's incredible it's profound and it's really really affordable okay so much love to each and every one of you. So many blessings. Happy Beltane. Happy 5-5 portal. And just happy being amazing, you know.